Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane's Speed Shop. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, this is a piston for my M113 V8 that will be in my Mercedes S124 or the W124 model. M113 engine 5 liter V8, so I have here 6 pistons, this is, this is number 1 and number 7 is away with the crankshaft balancing, that's why I don't have all the pistons here. But you can see, piston, this one is very clean, no dirt on it and I did uh, almost no rubbing on it to get it all off because this is how it looks when it came out around this state, so this is not too bad little bit of carbon build up on it and that's the most problem you have and you don't want to rub too hard on these pistons I think because there is some kind of squirt coating on it that's what I think there is on it because it's out of an alloy seal engine block so most of those pistons have a hardened skirt um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to dismantle this piston and I'm going to put it in a cup with just regular cleaning ammonia this you can just buy in the supermarkets here uh, there is like uh, less than 5% ammonia in it so it's just cleaning ammonia so I use a cup for you can put a liter in it the piston will fit in it I will go and get the rings off so it's much easier to clean and then I'll put everything in there so I'm going to show you how I do that so let's go So if you have the piston uh, removed from the from the rod, got all rings off. Uh, I will use always like a brush like this. This is like a brass material, so it's pretty soft. So it's not like a steel one. Otherwise, you scratch everything because it's still an aluminium piston. Uh, you can use uh, afterwards a little sponge or just another brush or anything else just but it will is softer than the material like brasses I don't think it's really softer than the material but it's not really scratching the material so what I did is I got the, the most carbon off of the the, the parts that are loosened on it so you can just get them off because then the ammonia has doesn't have to do that much work on it so for the rest I will just put it in there and use the ammonia I got the the pin and the clip on the bottom and always be careful with this stuff because it's not very good for your health don't breathe it or anything else uh, don't get with your face above it uh, it can burn your skin and that sort of stuff so be careful with it so I have about 600 milliliters in here now Um, how I do it is I will put the rings on top of the piston like this and then drop it in so just stack them, this, this is how I do it So now it's nice underneath the water. 
or underneath the ammonia. So the next thing what I'm going to do is use some just some kitchen file and cover it because it will then keep the smell in there because it will really get smelly and stuff. I just put it over it. So that's it. So what you're now going to do is just leave it for what I do, I would do this in the morning and leave it for like four or five hours and then take it out and uh, have a look to the piston how much I can remove. I remove a little bit off, I clean it with some water and put it back in for another four or five hours and then clean it completely with, with hot water. I will show you that in the next clip. The in-between cleaning I will not show because it's just sometimes it's not needed to do that but you can take it out but I will show you the end result that I'm, that I'm cleaning with hot water and then we get this result and uh, so so this is how we leave it standing for a whole day so some time later, so here I got the cup, you can see it's completely brown, so I'll take it to the lid off and put, get the pistons out. I uh, got my gloves on, so uh, don't get anything on my hands. So you can see on top it doesn't look that much different, but it's completely, as you can see here, I can just scrape it off, so it's very good. You can see how easy it comes off. So I will get some hot water and we're done going to flush it. Nice and clean. So that's it. 
that's how I clean so that's how I clean this looks pretty good all the grows are nice and clean maybe a little bit of scaling on it but all the big deposit is off the skirts look very nice so you never really want to rub on this with anything that's yeah sandpaper like or getting scratches on it because there is uh, some kind of coating on it so it'll go good so this is the last one that I need to do this piston one so uh, thanks for watching if you've got any questions below the video is my link or here you can see jamespizza.com have a look um, I have to clean a lot of more parts on the engine block I think I will make a video about that too how I'm going to do that because I cannot dip it completely in ammonia it will use a lot of stuff so I will make another one for that so thanks for watching hope you liked it see you for the next video bye bye